Hey. Welcome to the drain lab. Well, hey. So, it's the end of the night. Glad you, wait a minute, you haven't seen the video yet. Oh, so I'm shooting this part at the end of the night because I didn't do it at the beginning of the night, which means I have an insight as to what's gonna happen. I'm not really gonna tell you. I, there's just some good stuff that happened. So, just, <laughs> I'm shooting this now though at the end of the night. So, watch the rest of the video and you're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna really tell you. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make you watch. Just gonna have to watch and see. Yeah. Okay, whoa, whoa, hold on. Who's editing this thing? Okay, I, I gotta stop this. I can't show you that until I show you some other stuff from the past. So, I went shopping. So this is Tool. Not a tool, but tool. So I got that stuff. And also I got some little wires and I made a fence out of it. Here's some of that video. So I laid the tool out, taped it down, trimmed one nice edge of it, took the wire, cut a little fin bunch of little fence posts, then I lined them all up eight scale feet apart from each other, then I soldered them all together, made a couple little crossbars, soldered that all together, then I took the tool and I laid it out across, gently stretched it across, taped it down, and very gently glued it. I should have done a little better with the glue, like I should have used a toothpick or something. I had to put some weights down to make sure the tool was making contact with the metal of the fence. Then I brought the fence out to my dad's house. That's where we'll pick up the rest of the video now. Here we go. See how the fence fits. I actually want it to go all the way to the station. Our two spots. I'm taking the two longer posts at either end of the fence and drilling a hole for them. Wow. Look at that, it's kind of cool. Here's a view of our chain link fence from the other side. Yes, that light pole's crooked. It's hard to even see it, so it needs some junk and stuff up against it so you can see it, as Jim said. And he's definitely right. Jim is pretty much always right. He's always right. Hey, now you're pitching on me. <laughs> okay, I can't handle it. I can't just leave it like that. It's too clean. Small stuff, small stuff. Just experimenting. Who test, what's happening? And I'm giving up and I'm just throwing some stuff down for the moment. Oh, well that looks good, really. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get some newspapers to put up against that fence. All right. This was Jim's idea. We're gonna take this clean toilet paper and split it. Ooh. Split that in half. Yeah, pretty thin. Yeah, I'm just making this up as I go, but we're just gonna cut this up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna write some news on this stuff. 
Oh, uh, here's the comics. Uh huh. Okay. Just, uh, actual regular paper. I like the color. It's a little bright, I guess. No. Uh, just trying to stop. Let's dirty this up some. Like the way the wind blows right here in this corner, it just all collects. Kind of munched up a little bit. Put those in there. I think a lot of stuff would just collect right there. A lot of leaves. Peeper that looks just like the leaf. That was good. <laughs> little bits. Yeah, look at that. There's like a little dot on that red paper. I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of cool. Looks like something, definitely something. Yeah, stuck that on there to get it to go down to the ground. Ooh, maybe a little dirt. I don't know if that's working out very well though. Some more paper here and there. Oh, it's stuck with that. So, that debris looks pretty good. Yes. Yeah. So this is manually oh, with glue, is that what it is? Uh, so I went and glued the fence it down. Okay. And I'm just getting some wet water on here. Now that I have more alcohol in it, it's actually spreading better. So what are you using it for a wedding? Right, so it breaks the surface tension. Yes. Uh, That's what it does. Yeah. It's hard to see the fencing at one angle. You yeah. can see the fence, but yeah. There. You're right, because when I first walked in, you said they're fenced, and I said, where? Because <laughs> I can't see the mesh. But you're right, adding this stuff, though. Yes, brings your eye to it. Make that fence stand out. Yes. So I'm sorry I dirtied up your parking lot, but at least if it's clean, nobody notices it. If it's right. dirty, they're like, oh, that's all dirty, but they right. noticed. Yes, that's my point. It brings your attention to the fence. And it looks like a parking lot to me. Mm -hmm. One of the problems that I do see with layouts is they're too clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get dirty. There. So this dirt that I just put in there is a mixture of um, stuff. What is it? It's sifted dirt and uh, grout. A little bit of grout. So this little light pole's been sitting here at this end of the layout, laying on the ground in various places for no good reason for a very long time. So since I have an extra hole in the board, I'm just gonna glue it in here a little bit at the end of this fence. My glue will work. There we go. So I'm just gonna glue this in. It doesn't work, but maybe it's an older light. There. At least that way it's not laying on the ground. Looks cool there. Okay, so let's go see what Jim is doing. The progress he's got. Looks good. I mean, we're missing track and stuff, but this is gonna be much better. I got a mess here I need to clean up. Hey, so uh, for that parking lot, I thought, you know, someday we should make like the little stops when you park the car, the little curb thingy in the parking lot, the little concrete thing. We should do that someday. And I got to thinking, hmm, why not today? Today is the day. I'm gonna try that out real quick. Just something real quick. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and easy. I'm gonna take some white paint. Ooh. And, uh, of wood that's I don't know about the right size brush it on real lightly so I don't have to wait too long for it to dry hmm yes I know it's not white paint but you know what I don't think I have any white paint right now so it's more of a off-white it's more of a not quite white dry enough 
That seems like a nice size. Maybe it's a little long, but. White maybe would have been better, but oh, you know what? I think this one is damaged. I don't know what happened to it, but it's messed up. I think this one's a little damaged too. Can't have things perfect. What fun would that be? I kind of want them to get a little dirty and messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple things that we got accomplished. All right. Got the fence installed at the station. To protect the people in the parking lot from the train. So that makes the city happy. You have to go back a few videos to see what that's about. This turned out really nice, I think. A little bit different color than this fence, and that's okay. Went in later, different time. Okay, and the park golf stuff did nothing on that tonight. My dad and Jim mostly got this uh, main line tore out because as we discussed earlier, uh, this is where the layout was cut in half a long time ago. And there was a short piece here and another short piece and it just wasn't great. So we decided to replace that. So that is well on its way, all cleaned up, ready for track to be laid. Okay, so it's the end of the night. So I'm recording this part of the video, actually at the end of the night, at the end of the video where it's supposed to be. So anyways, we got the fence done, but we got garbage there, and we got leaves, and that all turned out pretty cool looking, I think. Actually, it looks pretty cool. And um, my dad was here, Don, and I was here, Don, and John was here, and Jim was here, and Scott couldn't make it. And John worked on a computer for Jim so he can run DCC stuff at home. I uh, had some issues with that, so he's got that going. I don't know, subscribe, like the videos, do that kind of stuff. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.